tweet that it happened, so you. Oh, okay. It's on me now. Let me flip. This is so awkward. All right. Oh, this is pretty cool, though. This little stand thing. The gimbals. All right. You want to talk about what we're doing here? Yeah, we were uh, going to show for the new release and show uh, the great metrics of 0810 compared to 089. But uh, it seems like we're having some uh, technical difficulties, <laughs> and we thought we'd uh, we'd loop you guys into the technical difficulties. You know, this is part of our life here. So, in the uh, in the interest of transparency, you get to see us. Uh, try we to had fix a nice this. staged intro plan, but you know, we, <laughs> we did have a nice. This, this one's more nice. real. Is uh, there any metrics that do work that are interesting? Well, I mean, the ones that are really interesting, the ones that we were going for, is uh, these ones here. Uh, turn cutting's always been an issue with uh, with Open Pilot, especially in laneless mode. And we've had some fixes recently that uh, significantly improved that. So basically, it's just an adaptive weighting that if the model's very certain and you're cutting a turn, that it's more aggressive in correcting when the model is certain. Um, and we had some metrics that proved uh, how much better this was in 0 10 uh, which is the ones we're trying to fix now. But really, this should be a very noticeable improvement in the turning behavior when you're driving laneless. Laneless keeps getting better. So uh, hopefully you guys Zero. Will... Woo! I don't know if that's... Is that good? All right, what do we got? Is it going to work? Back or this? Yeah. Oh, right. there we go. All right, so let's, let's compare these two. So here you can see turn cutting on left turns. On average, you're three centimeters too far inside the turn. And in right, right turns, that's 1.5 centimeters. And this is for uh, 0 8, 10, so this is what's about to go to release. And then if we look at, uh, at master, you can see that's more than twice as much. So we're really getting a pretty significant improvement in, uh, in turn cutting on lanelands. Sweet. So that's something great to look forward to. Awesome. Like some nice metrics are the DM stuff too. I think people think we ignore DM a lot. Do we want to look at the DM metrics? I think we should just show them. Yeah, let's check them out, everybody. We care about DM. Yeah, DM's pretty important. Are these, is it this TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this TV. Yeah, you can see here some things. I think the, the alert ones are pretty cool. Yeah, how often people get distracted, alerts, the differences between uh, nighttime, daytime, difference between comma two, comma three. Cool stuff. Three percent of users got at least a hundred yellow or red alerts in, in the last week. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Should we show them try it too on the yeah, on on here? We can try it on here, right? Yeah. 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 Vivek, you wanna let them try it too? Oh, we got more. Vivek's bringing up more and more metrics. Oh. Whoa. Look at this. We got another graph here. It's a graph? Shows. This is, uh, it's just a distribution of the RA deltas uh, in left and right turns. So there's left and there's right. Nice. And this is for master, but for. Uh, oh, so this isn't going to have change, right? Yeah, it wouldn't change much, a little. Yeah, so this is the bias that's uh, caused by, by the roll because the turns are always banked into the turn. Yeah. Um, so once Vivek is done with the roll compensation project, those it should, should be uh, coincide. together. Yeah. Nice. So, what do you want to see? Just go on comma.ai. Comma.ai. Does anyone have any questions? Want to enhance the size of it, like, to, uh, yeah. like 200%? Oh. All right, everyone. New new thing. George talked about it on, on Discord, uh, but it's live and real. You can now try comma 2 and upgrade to a comma 3 within 90 days. Just pay the difference. The try 2. Try 2 program. Try 2 program. So, uh... Yeah, over here on this new page, comma.ai slash compare, we have uh, both of the products we sell. We have the price differences here. And underneath, uh, this is my favorite part. I wrote this. I wrote modified phone in a case. <laughs> it's true. Comma 3, purpose-built hardware. Uh, it goes over just some tech specs and the differences between them. And uh, I should probably need to make this a little better, but comma 3 has nav. So it's pretty exciting. It should be, have, uh, start, it should be like the uh, new, you know, like new. Blinky, blinky. Yeah, I should make now it the upgrade. Uh, <laughs> so you those are the, me the differences. Has 24 more dragons. That's oh. <laughs> what I'm telling you. It has. Has a SSD. Yeah. More pixels on the screen. And it's an OLED. Yeah. Comma 3 is a huge upgrade. People know that. And uh, that's why the next section is what the community thinks. And there's a bunch of people's quotes from Discord, uh, so we're not making this stuff up. This is what people are saying about their comma three purchase. Yeah. Red <laughs> asset. Trust red asset. <laughs> oh, Master branch is glorious right now. Triple X clam. 
Or <laughs> Wait, who's Nabil of the day? Is there a new That's Nabil just Nabil. Every day? It's just referencing that it's oh, the Nabil. Of that day. Oh, I see. Yeah, of yeah. Nabil day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a legend. Nabil day fame. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, also, Sinbin Sam has some uh, wisdom. <laughs> That's a short and sweet. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Someone just said in chat. I agree. Uh, so, yeah, just open up oh, this try first. Two. Uh, try two. Talking about it. All right, go to how it works and uh, open up this. So, yeah, check it out. All you got to do is uh, purchase a comma two. If you like it, do nothing. <laughs> if you want to upgrade to a comma three, keep going. There's a new discount code for the comma three. Three for me. This code gives you the price off that you paid uh, for the comma two. And then, uh, yeah, you just send your comma two back to us. Keep your harness and everything set up. And uh, yeah, we'll ship you a comma three once it comes back. So all the details are on this page, but I think this is really great for new users who don't necessarily want to pay everything because they have never tried OpenPilot before. They don't know if it's worth this much. You'll find out it is worth this much once you try a comma two and uh, check it out for yourself. Anything you want to add about the Try a Two program, Adib? I know uh, you think it's a good. Yeah, it's a great program. It's a great program. Uh, hopefully, it gets people into comma threes or just into the ecosystem in general. Yeah. I don't know what else. Uh, what else did I just say? Should be a nice entry point in the whole ecosystem. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We also have anything to say about the program? It's exciting. No. I think uh, that's it. We got. Real talk. All right. So look. None enough people are buying common threes. That's, that's, that's real talk, right? We're making a little bit more money with threes than we made with twos, but that's obviously a lot less uh, units sold. Um, so, you know, we need a way for new people who are like, oh, that's expensive to come in and buy it. Try a two. If you don't like the two, send it back in 30 days as well. Yeah, free. Free. You know, <laughs> it's like nothing, bro. Like, get in, get in. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we got, oh, fundraising's over. So, you know, if you're like, you send an email today, like, oh, I want to be a part of Commas Fundraising Round. I'll see you in three years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so try it too. It's, it's going to be great. Do we want to check out the... Enter in the long tunnel? Sure, I think... Let's do the Maz... Or... I think Jordan <laughs> wants to go for a drive. Oh, I want to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Do Mazda first, or... Uh, Either's fine. It's the same to me. Oh, no, I just want to do all right, how about we do the Mazda real quick, and we're back in five minutes, and then we do intent Mazda student. All right, cool. All right. So uh, let's ch go check out the Mazda. Are we going to check out the Mazda? Yeah. Are we going to go for a drive, or are we just going to check it out? We'll go for a quick test drive of it. Probably is it has a minimal uh, steering speed. Let me drop it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Here it is. Mazda. All right, we're going in. We got a real clean install from Nick. Yeah, look at this. Nick's always the professional installer. Yeah. I'm sitting on a laptop. <laughs> I'm gonna get Comma Prime in here. Oh wow, no Prime? No Prime. I couldn't afford it. Oh, yeah, look Not at this interior. Sold. It's a nice interior. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's like a better Rav Four. Yeah, it's it's smaller, isn't it? <laughs> it feels a little smaller. Uh, but yeah, this is the first uh, Mazda, right? That well, we, we had support. other Mazda supported, but uh, this will be the first one that's not on dash cam only mode. Yeah, and so for those who don't know, there's a bunch of Mazdas that are in dash cam only mode, and the, the reason it doesn't like that corner. <laughs> it's the same corner we cut out last time. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone's saying F. <laughs> <laughs> are we back? Did they say? I think we're back. Yeah, I think we're back. Why do the YouTube make this more clear? I know. Mm. It, it it showed up a prompt that's like, do you want to reconnect? Yes or no? <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're back. Uh, so yeah, I was just saying there's a bunch of Mazdas uh, in dash cam only mode, and the reason they're in dash cam only mode is because you have to keep constant steering torque on the wheel. Uh, but yeah, with this newer Mazda, you don't have to do that, so we can make it uh, Yeah, this is a 2021 pilot. CX-9. Yeah, it's pretty uh, nice. Yeah, Thank, shout out to Jakar. He's the uh, one who did the Mazda port. He's brought in all the cars so far. Um, and he's the one that found out this one doesn't have a lockout. Yeah, and he, he owns it himself. <laughs> yeah, he even switched. Once he found out it didn't have a lockout, he uh, upgraded his car, and he got one of these great CX-9s. Oh, he's in here. 
Oh, he's in there? He said, yay. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all the hard work, Jakar. Um, it was a really high quality port. He's got firmware query in there. I think it was our first brand to be the only, uh, only have firmware query. Maybe it was Volkswagen, but I think it was Monster. I think it was Monster. Yeah, yeah. Got rid of all the can fingerprints. Uh, it was a little easy because we just deleted them all because it was dash cam only. <laughs> uh, yeah, great work. Yeah. Um, just fixing up a couple of bugs. Uh, we weren't the one to verify it, but I don't know. It's a very beepy car. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Beeps for everything. Whoa, there did you just go. engage? Nice. Yeah. Hands off. Look at that. Oh, and then it beeps. We gotta fix that. Oh yeah. So we're gonna make it real nice before we uh, we give it back to the rental company. But <laughs> um, when this ships in zero to eleven, you'll have a great experience on your CX nine. Um, yeah, it's standard on all trims, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. We already sell the harness for it, so that's easy too. It's the same as the FCA harness. We lucked out there same exact harness yeah so if you have a pacifica which uh you know i don't think has the greatest open pilot support you can trade <laughs> up to a cx9 and keep the same harness yeah it seems we would never interact with it huh, interesting we gotta fix the beep oh, yeah i mean the steering's quite smooth uh, is it like it's honda kind of steering where it's like smooth and and everything yeah we're, we're uh, approaching a turn it's more similar to see how it uh, looks. the honda steering like oh that. that's good but uh, oh, I that's the, nice. Yeah, I hear your car's working on uh, longitudinal support too. Oh, nice. That's gonna be great. Yeah. How's the torque and your experience? Uh, we've only had it uh, for less than a day now, but the torque seems pretty good. I haven't got all that many drives, but nice. Yeah, I mean, it so, seems yeah. good. Better than a cord. <laughs> Way better than the Accord. <laughs> the Accord isn't that bad, though. Yeah. The problem with the Accord, we've been talking about this, is that it beeps when it doesn't need to beep a lot. So that's something we need to work on. It's like, it, it yeah, makes yeah. a lot of turns, but it beeps. I also found with this car that this car faults the EPS a lot. Um, so we found that the, the red alerts are super annoying on steering unavailable. We're going to get that fixed for 0 and 11. Um, I know certain people have complained about it quite a bit. Um, and we Great. fixed it for the Toyotas, but I guess it faults more on these cars. So we'll fix it once and for all. We're really trying to work on the uh, reducing open pilots. Uh, <laughs> Rough edges project. The car said I fixed the chime, but Adib doesn't like my fix. No, no, no. We're gonna fix it properly. <laughs> We're gonna get all the dash alerts in there. How's the longitudinal? It seems pretty nice. Yeah, the longitudinal is pretty good. Does an alert come up when we go below the steering limit? Yes. Nice. Oh, sweet. Some traffic here. Well, yeah, this is a really nice car, so I'm sure you know some someone out there watching the stream, maybe one of you has one. We have and, quite uh, a few Mazda users, actually. Last time I checked, oh, yeah, here's the alert. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, and then there's that speed uh, speed too low alert, and that's stupid, too, because it doesn't tell you what the actual minimum speed is. So. Oh, really? It's just yeah, yeah, speed yeah. We'll get that fixed up, too. Nice. Did you get too close? Oh. Traffic? This will be good for N10 longitudinal, probably. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next We just got to get back to the office now in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, how do you verify a brand port? How do you go about oh, I, thought that was that? A, I thought that was a real user question. But Oh, there's Jason. Oh, uh, nice. Representing. Can it do stop and go? It's doing stop and go right now. It yeah. just doesn't steer, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Um, we'll flip this way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you verify a brand port? Like, we got this car, we rented it. What is that? Yeah, what does so, that entail? I mean, the first part is driving it around. So we found a couple bugs um, right off the bat. Like, it doesn't always cancel. Um, that's a pretty big no-no. We got to fix. Let's try to get in here. Um, try to get in. The blinkers were wrong. And it's like, this stuff isn't necessarily the, the fault of the maintainer. Uh, can we sneak in? Yeah. Sneak in. Oh, these guys are so nice. They left like two people in. Nice. Oh, this car's beeping. <laughs> yeah, it's a very beepy car. It's like the Sonata. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we found a couple bugs right off the bat, but I think this is, uh, a lot of the problem is we don't communicate it's what the open pilot look. experience is super well. Um, and I think we're gonna try to do a better job of this now. Um, we launched our docs page. It's gonna be at docs.com.ai. And that's going to be the documentation for developing OpenPilot, as opposed to the wiki where it's uh, very handhold to kind of help getting started. 
we kind of want to move away from, okay, maybe not move away from that, but we want to segment off the development documentation away from that kind of stuff. Um, and build out our documentation a little more. Um, find a used compatible car. Oh, these are just this, this is internal conversation. Oh, I see. Cheapest car that works with Kama. Someone asked if uh, Honda's still the best. I think Hyundai's are, are the best. Hyundai's are pretty good. Honda's pretty good. Every car is every car has its own quirks. I don't think there's one car that's just like is perfect in every single way. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know. Architecturally, the Toyotas are still very are still the cleanest. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I feel like a lot of cars are, are a good choice. Yeah. See this alert. This needs to. Speed this needs to tell low. you the minimum speed. I don't know what the minimum speed actually is. I think it's twenty eight miles an hour. That's annoying. You can't engage. Yeah. And it just sets the speed to that. That's super annoying. Hmm. Um. But yeah. So for as far as a brand port though. A lot of the work we do is is kind of fixing those things that we don't communicate super well. And then the other part is verifying the safety. So we do injection testing. Um, we go through all the panda safety and make sure it works properly um, and that kind of stuff. So um, that's what we'll be doing later half of today. Right now I'm fixing up all those little things like um, just merge the PR to fix the blinker states. Um, so now when you, the convenience blinker works and then it's not tied to the lamps anymore, you'd see like the lane change alert flicker. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, if you haven't driven in another car, it's hard to tell, um, or even just from reading the code, it's hard to tell what the, these things are supposed to be. So we're really gonna try to fix that up um, and communicate this stuff better. Yeah, Jakar said 32 miles an hour. Oh, I'm glad <laughs> yeah, Jakar's in here. Man, that's gonna be hard to get up to 32 miles an hour. How do you use this and stop and Why go? Why do you disengage? Oh. <laughs> that's like the weirdest limitation I've ever heard of. Cause like you want to use it in stop and go, but you have to get all the way up to 32 to make it work in stop oh, and go. Huh. Oh well. That's I don't pretty know, What cool. else do the people want to know? A pedal. Pedal. Oh. I don't know, Eric just said pedal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what else do you all want to know about, you know, brand ports and uh, our new documentation stuff? I'm pretty excited about it. It's looking really cool. We'll have some proper developer documentation for open pilot. I mean, I think uh, the at, what we deployed uh, this morning, I think, is really about discoverability. Right. Um, and it's just kind of hard to find stuff right now. But if you go to, I'm not sure if it's up at docs.com.ai yet, but if you go to docs.aks.com.ai, you can see it there. Um, and it really shows you all the documentation we have. Um, at least that's in the open pilot repo. Um, whereas it's not super easy to discover it right now. We kind of get caught up in the way that we learn open pilot or at least when like new employees come and you just kind of grep around the code base but this is kind of a, a big ask for somebody who just found your repo and uh want to start poking around in it you know cloning open pilots actually takes quite a long time we're gonna fix that too yeah and yeah. you know, we don't know anything about specific i can engage at zerp you think you mean zero yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that's going to be a limiting factor going forward? <laughs> uh, single Panda is a limiting factor. Now we have Multi Panda. We're going to merge that PR. Yeah, that's exciting. Mm. Multi Panda is cool if if you have like a car. Like there's a few Nissans where the the longitudinal like control is on a different bus, and we we ran out of buses, so you can have two pandas hooked up and and get longitudinal working that way. I know Robe is doing that for his uh, Tesla AP2 Model S. He has two pandas so he can do longitudinal control. Um, but also, you know, that means you can support the red panda and uh, yeah. run it simultaneously with the built-in dose on the Comma 3. Dose. Does community supported cars have to tune longitudinal per car? Every car is tuned yeah, every, like that, yeah. Yeah, it's all got Yeah, got I mean, up. all the tuning is kind of community done. Yeah. Though, uh, shout out to, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Quadmus, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. The first real yeah. tuning PR. There. Yeah, we got a nice tuning PR. He put all the plots in there. Um, the Volt was used to be the worst car. Hopefully with 0 to 10, this has changed. Um, and we're going to start releasing metrics on this. Um, and we'll we'll make like a nice document, every release maybe, of how open piloty is your car. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you'll be motivated. You'll know that your Honda 
I don't know, Clarity or whatever. Honda uh, Fit. Yeah, you know, Honda <laughs> Fit is a shit car. And, you know, you should have, can we say that? Uh, you should uh, fix the tuning. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're 27 miles an hour. We're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so mad. Can almost engage. Let's get it all of a sudden. Nice. Yeah, we're yeah. making our way back to the office. Then we're going to check out and, and longitudinal some updates there. Pretty exciting. Yeah, stay tuned after the commercial break. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Oh, we're just put the try two in the middle, and then uh, that could be a commercial break. Yeah, well, let's just reiterate try it two for all those yeah, yeah. all those new entering the stream. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. So, oh, we're back. Oh, we got it to engage. Woo! <laughs> oh, we're about to drop below. Oh no, no it's, okay. it's not it's steering. Yeah, I mean, at least we're. We're half, half all right. <laughs> oh well. Um, so yeah, try a two new program. Check it out. Just go to comma.ai. It's right on the top. There's a banner. What it is, is uh, you want to try Open Pilot on your car, but you're like, man, I've I've never tried Open Pilot. I don't even know if it's any good. I don't want to spend twenty two hundred dollars to to just try it out. So now you can buy a comma two, try it out for up to 90 days. And any point within those 90 days, you're like, man, open pilot's great. I think I should get a comma three. Uh, you can just like trade it up, pay the difference. Uh, so it's a really cool program. It lets you just try out open pilot. Also, of course, every product on our shop has a 30 day return policy. So you could also just buy a comma three. And if you don't like it, return it within 30 days. Yep, this is what we're trying to fix. Oh, uh, so we missed the Let's alert, it but it was red. Was it because you touched it? Who yeah, knows? Yeah, I think it's because they override. I mean, a lot of cars fault. A lot of the EPS is fault when you override. But, right. Uh, it also seems to fault for a little bit longer. Yeah. So that's going to be great. You can literally go in the shop today, buy a comma two. Nothing special about it. Just uh, buy a regular comma two. Once you buy a comma three, you use the, the code three for me, and uh, you get that amount off. Then you just have to send the comma two back to us. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll yeah. send you your comma three. Yeah, I think you guys be really happy with Comma 3s. They're, uh, they're a real consumer electronic. We worked really hard to make them nice. Yes. The Comma 2s are, you know, they drive your car, but Comma 3 is nice. Um, and it'll grow with you. You'll yeah. see all this nice new open pilot functionality. Yeah, that's very exciting. For, for those who don't remember, like the Comma 2 used to not be good at all when it came out. It was a cool. Oh, right, right, right. It well, was great. It, it was ran great. Open pilot 071. Yes. It was good. Yeah. It was good for OpenPilot 071. We, we've yeah, OpenPilot's a lot better now. We have uh, assisted lane change. Oh, look at this. Ooh, uh, we uh, hit torque uh, limit. I did this earlier, though. Okay, yes, so you're going too fast. There we go. This is, this is a torque limit, roughly. Oh, I think we're leveling out. That's not nice it's better it. than a cord, but. A nice bank turn here. Maybe Vec has some announcements around that. Yeah, you can tell because we're so slanted on the stream because the stabilizer uh, stabilizes just to what perfectly straight is. Yeah, should we show them some lane changes? Oh, this guy's not happy. Uh, yeah, we gotta get over one more. It's really a lot of traffic today. Yeah. Someone said hardware costs money. Harder? Yeah, unfortunately <laughs> it does. It costs us a lot of money too. Yeah. We gotta gotta make all the hardware. So we do have a lot of comma twos available. So. You know, try it out, see how you like it. I think it's going to be great for all those people who used to be trying comma twos and uh, that's how they got into the ecosystem. Now you can keep doing that and uh, you still have the opportunity to get a comma oh, three. so bad. <laughs> We're also working on new sounds, for those of you who don't know. The new yes. sounds are going to be great. I know some people complain about the new sounds that are in that ranch and complain they're not coming to the comma two. That's a work in progress branch. It's not, oh, it's not steering. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, we're working on new sounds. Our sound guy's killing it. Um, yeah, that sounded really good. Well, yeah. look how white I look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully those none of the sounds are as annoying as that. Um, the new sounds are actually quite a bit more pleasant. Um, yeah. Why does this still show up? We're over the 28. Yeah, actually. Why not? Oh, there's probably some history. So. Um, yeah. What else is there to talk about? I mean, yeah, this try two is going to be great, everybody. Go buy a comma two right now if you have a supported card. There's literally no reason not to. And just uh, give it a shot. See how you like Open Pilot. It's great. Oh, comma hack. We're going to talk about comma hack. Yeah, how's the CTF going? Anybody still doing it? That's a good question. Is anyone guys, still doing the CTF? Did anybody play it and have feedback? Yeah. 
Let us know. <laughs> Logan well, said, or just try a three. <laughs> <laughs> also right. true. You could just try a three. They're back in stock temporarily, so if you want one, buy it now. We might run out of stock real soon. Again. <laughs> we run out of stock of comma twos or threes? Threes. Oh, um, well, we got comma twos. Don't worry. <laughs> we're still waiting on screens. For what? Comma three? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we're stuck. Someone said they're stuck on six out of eight. Submit if you haven't. Yeah, yeah, if you haven't. I just like seeing all the submissions. We did give out all the prizes already. Um, although there was one flag in there for an extra prize and uh, nobody actually followed the instructions on in that flag. It's really sad. So if you did find that flag and uh, you know what obstruct instructions I'm talking about, update your form and we'll, uh, we'll get you your prize sent off. Because quite a few of you did find all eight. How many comma twos are left? There's so many. And we're gonna be uh, even making a few more comma twos, so. You know, we don't just have what we have. We have even more comma twos that we're going to make. Uh, production's very excited. We're going to do a comma two week one of these weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going to yeah. mix it up. <laughs> After building all, all comma threes for quite a while, get back to the old the old comma twos. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't been on the CTF and want to come to Comma Hack, you can still submit up until the event. Uh, the event's kind of full, but, you know, if you do well on the CTF, you can come. Um, you can always use more good people at the event. Yeah. If you're a winner, you're uh, always welcome. There we go. We're back. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no more steering. No, the comma three, you can uh, look at it with sunglasses. There's no issues. It's correctly polarized. Oh, should we tell them about that? <laughs> should we tell them about that? Yeah, we can tell them about that. Yeah, so uh, in early production, we found out that uh, there was a lot of early issues with those screens and uh, we had to reject a lot and we had to we had to throw away lots of screens, but, uh, and then at the end of all that, we found out that some of them are also polarized wrong. Yeah. What happened is Igor and I were looking at comma threes and we're like, this one looks like blue. The screen looks blue when it's off. So then I was like, oh, let me just get a pair of glasses, like a sunglasses and let's try it out. Let's check out what's going on. And then I looked at the stress test and like half of them were black with sunglasses. I'm like, oh no. I think that was right before the first batch too. It was right before. Yeah. <laughs> the first batch is going to be like double the size it was, but. Uh... Yeah. And I was like, oh, we got to reject all these screens. So we took them all off, uh, yeah. rejected them. All the screens coming out in comma threes are polarized the correct way. It's really nice. Uh, I know that was a big issue with the uh, comma twos. Funny enough, like a lot of the monitors around the office also are polarized the wrong way <laughs> if you wear glasses. Um, yeah, isn't it weird OLED displays are polarized? Uh, it looks like the smartphone people do this so like you can hold it vertically and it looks the best uh, for glare. So, but that's wrong. Like if, if you're looking at a smartphone screen like this and then we mount it like this, you got a problem. So these are it all works correct. great for the open pilot application. This is it's a nice screen. Yeah, it's a great screen. And we have a designer uh, in the pipeline, in the interview pipeline. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be seeing some of his work in OpenPilot soon. Some, some new design. Yeah. It'd be awesome. To make use of that great screen. It's really beautiful. Anyone with a Combo 3 can attest to that. And they're all the same. We calibrate them. I know. They look exactly the same. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jakar said, I don't know where all these uh, loud beeps are coming from. I, don't, I haven't gotten any of these. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. So the, Do you have this patched out or go. something? <laughs> Red alert. <laughs> Shields up. Oh, man. What else is there? This car's probably good for highway cruising, I'd say that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's great for highway cruising. It was good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was great when I was driving around when there was no traffic earlier today. I mean, it, it's doing pretty well, too. Look at that. Yeah, Jakar did a great job with the port. Actually, should we, let's ask him for an update. How's longitudinal doing? Yeah, how's longitudinal? Any work on that? Uh, good shoom, yes. Well, good... <laughs> 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 that guy's hilarious. Uh, Jakar said um, he can engage at zero and he doesn't get any of these issues. He probably he can engage at zero? Yeah. Wait, what's the difference? Yeah, how do we engage at zero? Torque on the Mazda is kind of like better than the Accord. I'd say it, maybe. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, it's probably more than that. Yeah, like, let's see how those here. So we're going to run? 40. Let's see. Hey, that's. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's. Uh -huh. No. Okay. <laughs> but it's holding it. 
That's good. I like when they hold it. Yeah? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I had to click reconnect. We're back. No one said F in chat this time, so maybe we didn't cut out. Who knows? <laughs> How many people are watching? 82. 82. Mazda. We got likes already? Can you, you get likes on a live stream? Yeah, 28 likes. Oh, short F. Short F, welcome back. <laughs> Everyone, give this video a thumbs up. Let's get to 100 likes. <laughs> we don't have enough people for that, but uh, yeah, smash that like button. Any other questions anyone has? Anyone buy oh. a comma two yet? Wait, Jakar, the blind spot stuff also doesn't work. It doesn't block the lane change properly. I haven't looked into it yet. Good Choom said, haha. Oh, he's watching? Yeah. I don't understand what your complaints are, man. Do you want to you wanna clarify here? Uh, VOACC, that's kind of tied in with end-to-end -end longitudinal. Once end-to-end -end longitudinal is good enough to ship, I feel like that's when VOACC is coming out. We're not going to... We're probably just going to focus on end-to-end -end longitudinal. 53 likes, that worked. It would like, double oh, wow. the amount of likes. I don't think I've ever liked a YouTube video. Ooh, what are some of the hackathon project ideas? Oh, we got some cool ones. So uh, we're thinking of doing a CanFD carport. I think that's going to be Igor's project. That's um, awesome. Yeah, Red Panda support and Multi Panda support finally in uh, 0 11. Um, it was ready for 0 8 10, but uh, it just was done too close to the release. We couldn't merge it uh, that close. Um, what else we got? We want, it'd be cool if somebody did a see through comma 3, so they track your head pose, and then they use the cameras on the back to pass through. Like you're, you're looking right through it. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, we have some, uh, maybe an announcement at, uh, for new hardware at the hackathon. So, not a comma yeah. 3S. Not a comma 3S or a comma 4. <laughs> comma 3 forever. Comma, <laughs> <laughs> uh, comma 3 just Now we're already out. working on the comma 6, guys. <laughs> um, six cameras. We need all yeah, the cameras. Six cameras. What else? What are the projects we have? Comma security. Yeah, we're thinking comma security. We're finally so, thinking about it. I mean, we've always thought about it. It's just, you know, <laughs> who has time for comma security? Yeah, wouldn't that be neat if your car, like, we got hit like, or something? Like, you got is the spot open again? All How right. How did we get so lucky today? Woo! We got the 30 minute. Yeah. It's not actually 30 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, we got lots of cool projects lined up. A lot of common employees want to do uh, comma security stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're thinking streaming instead of the snapshot feature. And the snapshot feature is pretty lame, I think. So it'd be really cool if you can stream. Comma needs less power. Yeah, we're also gonna work on that. Yeah. Comma three point three, work. The, oh, with the great events. speaker. Oh, the great. Beep beep. beep. <laughs> if someone breaks in. What else? Anything? Oh no, the comma watch. It's the comma, and then you know four letters. Can everybody guess it? George might have talked about it before. He's, he's you know he's uh, hinted at the thoughts. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Got, coming to Comma Connect maybe after the hackathon. If you guys have hackathon project ideas, uh, put it in maybe the CTF channel. Yeah, we'll check them out. We'll come. <laughs> no, we're not going to parallel park. Did anybody say anything about the CTF for the hackathon? No. <laughs> no. Comma 4? No, it's not the Comma 4. Comma Neck? What do you guys want in the Comma 4, though? I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, Comma 3 has like everything you'd want, right? Got 360 vision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it takes forever to. Yeah, the ignition, ignition doesn't off. turn off. It turns off after a minute. I don't. What? I don't know why they do this? It's super strange. What's the most commonly used vehicle? It's still the, the Prius, Prius by far. By far, yeah. And there's the Rav4, the Corolla, and it's like one more Toyota. Someone said no screen. <laughs> no screen. <laughs> the screen's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm. All George right. was on earlier. Yeah, are we ready All to right. go in? Yeah, let's go in. You'll uh, open the door. Yeah, we're there. Cool. All right, everyone. Moment you've been waiting for. End to end longitudinal. Let's let's try it out. Got some improvements since last time when it basically didn't work at all. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it drives better than someone who's been driving for a week. Maybe we'll see. Harold, it's time. Look at all our boxes we have. You ready? All right. 
Actually, it is better than it's ever been. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's new hardware. You have to show them new hardware? What? Oh, well, I think the other, I think the other are kind of bodies in there. Uh, maybe show it the hackathon? No, the I mean, thing. these are some parts of comma bodies. Uh, comma bodies are coming soon. Uh, you'll be able to attach your comma 3 to your comma body. So, like, here's a comma 3. Uh, the other comma bodies in there are being worked on. But just imagine this, but a little narrower and like extend it up to like, we're going to make him a nice five feet tall. You know? Should we shit on Lumo? Oh, well. Go really fast. Well, well, yeah. How do I spell that thing? Lumo? Lumo. L O O M O. Oh, L O O M O. Yes. Okay. Well, so it's going to be nothing like this, we promise. <laughs> when I see a Lumo, I just want to kick it. All right? Look, I just want to kick it, right? And can you kick it? Yes, you can. Right? Like, like that's what I think. But when you guys see a comma body, it would be like, wow. Cool. Um, so you asked, what can the comma body two do? And let's go for a drive. Uh, because that's the wrong question. <laughs> What's important is that if anything, if you can't see a stop sign or a stoplight that you mentioned comma pencil, yeah, it can help oh, here. Help. Or I guess I can just join. Yeah, I'll just join for the drive. Is anyone penciling in? Uh... Wait, I'll open that. Well, yeah, Harold, you gotta come in here to complain. <laughs> We're stuck outside now? <laughs> uh, now I got my phone. <laughs> um, I, I've never tried antenna longitudinal before. Uh, the best it's ever been. Is it good? Am I gonna be upset? Unclear. <laughs> Unclear. How am I gonna, am I gonna like this or not? I think I'll go in the back. Apparently, I think I should go in the back. I like All right. for at angles. It's the comma garage. All right. Uh, you put this in a cup holder somewhere. All right. We're in. <laughs> A copyright claim. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. I like parts of the experience. Okay. So I hope you uh, feel the same way. So you're telling me the highway is actually what's good? I like the highway. I thought it did some some really smooth and impressive things. I like off highway. It doesn't. It, it only opens with the button. Really? Is that true? Yeah. Has it been has it been an illusion the whole time? Yeah, it's always been like that. I sit there, I press the button, and it's on like the sixth press that it causes. Wow. So, Harold, give an introduction. What is N10 Longitudinal? If someone's watching this video for the first yeah, time. Yeah, so N10 Longitudinal, in this, in this case, it's really just doing what the model wants to do, what the model thinks a human would do. All right. No lead, lead cars only play a very small role as like limits. Everything else is really just uh, letting the model do what it thinks a human would do. Oh, whoa! Yeah, so. Wow, it stopped at a stop sign. All right, let's go. Good right. call. Good call, model. It went by itself. Uh, it's it pretty sick, bro. Yeah. I don't even think uh, this is some FSD shit. Yeah, it's, all, right, uh, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, you got a call on the computer. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's like, uh, the audio sounds like it's coming through the car. Let me tell you. All right. We stopped. Yeah, sometimes it stays stopped, sometimes it goes. Um, what would a human do here? All right, let's go. Uh, See, this stopped. is really where comma pencil can help, I think. Why is comma pencil going to help with this? Well, so the problem is we only have a very narrow field of view that the comma 3 has Oh, access to. they got to improve the, yeah, yeah, do those comma 3 labels. All right. So we need to see we need to see the full field of view for the... All right, well, <laughs> mm, so much for that stop sign. <laughs> uh, all right, but hey, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Yeah, but so to use the full comma three field of view, we need the segment to work on the full field of view because that's an essential part of our uh, offline stack. Um, and so comma pencil needs uh, to work on comma three. I mean, data. to be fair, I'm not sure I would have stopped at that stop sign either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good excuse. Oh, I think they're lenses. We gotta clean the lens, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at it, it's dirty. Dirty lens. Dirty lens. Sorry for the weird Bluetooth audio, everybody. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to clean the lens before I engage? No, actually, it's fine. It's not gonna matter. All right. We're going into some traffic. All right, let's merge here. 
All right, all right, good, good merge. Yeah, so it's much more aggressive than the normal policy is because the normal policy is quite. You Wait, know, so this is almost entirely untanned? Yeah, pretty much. All right. And uh, yeah, it should. Uh, I mean, yeah, so it's a lot more aggressive, which is one of the nice parts. It, it really knows when to be aggressive. We have very conservative limits in the normal planner because otherwise it would just floor it when you really don't want it to. But now it's really. This is, this is really good. I know, it's impressive, right? I, I mean, this too. is like almost shippable if it just didn't stop at stop signs. Yeah, I think really with the wider field of view, you know, it's really going to be quite good. Yeah, big model. Looks like it's coming to the Comet 3 only. Mm -hmm. Who wants to write the code to make it work on the 2? I mean, you guys can try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do it. Yeah, just very exciting. Uh, all right. Looks like the lead thing is screwing up here. Yeah, but that shouldn't really matter for the policy. It's really just doing what the model wants to do. So I've noticed when it gets at low speed, it can really get quite confused. And then here. Oh, well, it can't, it can't. This is why we need the bigger box. Yeah, comma exactly. pencil. Comma pencil. It's Let's in the go. description. Go, go. go do it. There's a bunch of comma three images in there. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, this is the live end end long longitudinal branch. Yeah, this is end to end longitudinal. That was a little harder than brakes. Yeah, every now and again, it's a little aggressive. Is that, is that, can we put an alert if it's hitting the car policy? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Or maybe just a little indicator. An indicator if it's hitting, if it's using the car policy yeah. at all. Yeah. Because that might have been a car policy based thing. I don't know. At least I found in the Hyundai, it breaks way too hard for the cars, but it's probably poorly tuned. Um, yeah, the Hyundai is weird. Yeah. Like, it like slams the brakes. It's super strange. But the limits yeah. here are much, uh, they're much closer we to the We just lowered the following. What, what yeah. did we say the following distance still? 75%. Oh, I mean, that's still... And it's also not that tightly coupled. Most of the cost is an acceleration from the model, which has nothing to do with the leads. Yeah, all right, we're going to let this guy in model? What do you think? There's no way he can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Comma pencil. <laughs> Comma pencil, let's go. I don't know, what I found really impressive is just how smooth it is. I feel like in this stop and go, it's more smooth than, uh, <laughs> than uh, the normal policy. Yeah, I think this is pretty good has much better awareness. Alright, we'll go back to the streets. I don't want to wait in this traffic. Yeah. Alright, wait. Model should be able to do that, right? Drive uh, aggressively. Yeah. It should be. Drive aggressively! Well, and now what's exciting uh, with this uh, cutout, it's not uh, going to floor it as much as it usually would. Oh, well, this is making too little <laughs> But yeah, this is something that really annoys me with the normal policy is that it'll just shoot past slow moving traffic, which is completely unreasonable. Well, let's set it to something unreasonably high and see what it does. Yeah, I mean, it's not accelerating that much anymore. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. So you see my max is 49 and we're going 34 right now. We're going to slow down for this turn? Let's I mean, see. actually, I probably wouldn't slow. Whoa! Oh, but it's what's it going to do? I want it to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's slowing down. down for this one. I slow, I slow down for this one when I drive this. Oh, I really regret Not this going one. here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this <laughs> I merge. Didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to! This is the hell merge. I didn't mean to! Yeah, we're in the Corolla. This is what the model wanted. This is what the model wanted! It didn't know I wanted to go home. <laughs> well, that's uh, first we gotta, we gotta go. Maps. We're going to the office. Wow, that was good. Mm. That was really good. That felt nice. Yeah, that felt like it didn't feel like it. Like, oh, I picked up the lead car. Oh, let me brake aggressively. Yeah, no, it's it's really it's showing hints of uh, super what? human level of driving. Wow, this is almost shippable. I know, right? Like, it's like almost like. We gotta figure. I mean, I think it slowed down too much. Put in that for it. Yeah, put in that. Put in the office. Check it out. All right, Actually, navigate on that. Open Pilot. Let's go. Fail two rounds, no boy. Oh, oh, there, we there, there we go. Oh, it's real quick with the error message. <laughs> yeah. Only eight minutes away. Guys, when we put in this navigation with the end to end everything, yo, that's just called driving. I think it's just gonna work. Wild yeah. wide field of view, the maps. No, I think that may have been a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> where's, that, where's my keeps? Yeah. Oh, look, wow, slow down. slow down for turns. That was cool. Look at this, guys. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Just this do it. Great. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's not the most fault. Well, it kind of is. That, that, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
or picking up speed, that's probably not right. what I would do here because this is the sharpest turn oh, of all time. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> How did it know? All right, a pedestrian crossing ahead. Oh. Okay, mo the model couldn't even see that. You, I think I think we need to. Did you see? No, the path was straight. Yeah, I think this model didn't train as well laterally as the. Uh, oh, ship was there. okay, okay. And this is. Uh, Yes, it's it's clear that it kind of didn't. The training's still a little bit unstable, to be honest. Oh, the longitudinal training? What you mean in the RL or the? the, the yeah, so the joint simulator training where it trains lateral and longitudinal. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm training one now that is stable, uh, but that's going to take another couple of days to get on the car. So. Yeah, yeah. What are we going to make it faster? Uh, no, it'd be nice, but it's not a requirement. Ah, uh, well, that's what I know how to do. I know how to make things faster. <laughs> people, keep, people keep saying it. This doesn't look like it's shipping soon. What do you mean? Open pilot right now would just floor it no matter what. <laughs> Wait, they don't think it's shipping soon? What are they saying? They're saying shipping soon in quotes. All right, it's not shipping blah, soon. Blah, blah. We won't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> we won't lie to you guys. I just think the trend of improvement since the last stream we did with this has been very, very clear. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's, put, let's put let's really. put the speed absurdly high and see if it goes absurdly fast. Someone said this is as good as FSD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of is! <laughs> Yo, everyone who wants this stuff needs to lower their expectations. Look, like, that's cool. Look, the speed's 55. It's not going 55. Yeah, I would, this is how I'd go. Yeah, this is how I'd go, too. Nice. All right. Is it going to stop for this green light like a Tesla? Woo! Uh, no! Oh, is it going to do that? That's not bad. Nice. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know why it does it. It's just like very hesitant. It doesn't like commit to stuff that's 100%. Someone yeah, said yeah. I tried end to end long today and it was super smooth and stopped at a lot of red lights. Only thing I noted is that it drove 10 to 15 miles below speed limit on some roads. Oh, well, this was the bug, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Too lucky. We need comma pencil. <laughs> well, do you think it just couldn't see that in time? Uh, well, I mean, it was there, right? It should have seen it. I should, I should, I mean, yeah, you're just yeah. stupid. I, mean, I was probably just being stupid. Yeah, we're back, by the way. I mean, to be fair, like, you didn't have to slow down. <laughs> do, do the math? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust it. No? I was gonna stop there for a second. Okay. I mean, this is pretty chill right here. All right, like, normally it would, like, zip up there and then... Yeah, I, but the, the first thing I see this fixing is just not, like, floor it when... Those cutouts yeah. go super fast next to slow moving traffic. Well, the really nice thing about the uh, the safety of end to end longitudinal is um, is uh, we can leave in the car policy, and we're not going to remove the car policy, but it's just like a rail, right? And you can like you can oh, what was that? These lights turn red. Notice, by the way, how my speed is set to uh, 57. Yeah, and we're going like 25. It's pretty good. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, look at oh yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! Stop for red light. Yeah! Nice. There's no, is that in the box? No, it probably wasn't. It's no. just new. I think it just remembers. What do you mean it remembers? How can it remember whether it's green or red? Oh, oh remembers. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few seconds oh, it remembers from a few seconds ago. It's just not like it's like, <laughs> you know, well, we trained on the lights and the time yeah, of day. Know. And um, yeah. wait, this is so Tesla quality right yeah, here. It remembers wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it sees a lot of red lights up there. It's up. Oh, no, it eventually went. I think the car is moving next to it. Sometimes that inspires it. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. All right. You know this is a stop sign, right? Blinking red? No, it doesn't know that. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, what are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's about what I thought it would be, actually. That's good. Yeah. So it's a Tesla quality. <laughs> ship it. I mean, it's Tesla quality. We don't, we don't, we don't ship things that are Tesla quality. It, it feels kind of like FSD, although to be honest, I was more scared of the FSD car. <laughs> at least the wheel isn't going to jerk. Exactly. At least, <laughs> at least I know the lateral's good. Um, well, actually, not really. It, did, it really didn't converge. Well, if we can keep the trend of improvement going from the last few weeks, yeah, I see a good path to shipping some of these features. 
One of the keys to making this work was our simulator now understands depths a bit more. Oh, you see, just by habit, I disengage in front of the lights. I don't remember that I can just leave it on. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. All right, so and can we have some, maybe that's one of our benchmarks. We have to stop at 99.9% .9 of lights. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, I think once it can see them, it's really going to. I think so too, yeah. Like it's so much harder a problem to remember. Yes. Imagine, yeah, imagine you, you know, we should, we should ship uh, model goggles. Yeah. <laughs> Put on your model goggles. Be and a model for a day. Be a model for a day and see how well you can drive, you know? <laughs> and then stop blaming open pilot. Like, <laughs> let's park in the street. We'll take this to the office. Sounds good. Sweet. All righty. Great. Seems more promising than 10.3. <laughs> uh, well, you know, the bar is low. Um, <laughs> uh, you want to grab Greg? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You yeah. say bye. All right, yo, thank you for joining the stream. Uh, look, I have very high hopes for a 10 longitudinal. We have uh, we have almost a depth net now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Try it too. Oh, try it too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, if you want a three, but are like, wow, that's expensive. Try a two, and you'll be like, wow, this two is so good that you'll buy a three. And instead of spending $21.99, you'll spend $10.99 and then another $10.99, so it'll feel like it's only $10.99, but two times, <laughs> right? Have you guys ever seen those commercials with like, you know when something's like $100 on an infomercial, but they don't want to tell you, so it's like four easy payments of $25? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that, but this is just two easy payments of $10.99. Dollars. <laughs> um, it doesn't read signs. It judges speed by everything in the scene. That's true. Uh, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. All right, all right. Office crew. Bye, everybody. Bye. Should we show them the new office? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>